Mr. Harbormaster. Evening. Evening. My name is Ray Pike, Harbormaster. I have one thing uh, based on our last conversation I'd like to leave you, and that is an updated wait list. It's been on the website since September. Uh, we had 38 people on the wait list last year. We had 90 to 100 uh, at this point a year ago. Uh, and uh, everybody's requesting that we drop the people who aren't paying, and it seemed like a fair thing to do. I was hoping to be a little more generous to the residents, but uh, I'll, and I'll, I'll give each of you a copy, so uh, if anybody stops you, you'll, uh, you'll know. Thank you. In addition, uh, Don mentioned we have the pump-out boat uh, coming online this year, and that's going to be a, a key kickoff feature for our training. We, uh, we expect a whole lot more training activity for the Harbor Masters and for this season. Uh, we, ha we carry a set of pumps as well, which we'll be deploying on either of our patrol boats or the pump-out boat just to, to provide backup services in the case of sinkings and so on. And, uh, that's another uh, target for our training. Uh, we, as the, the uh, commission does have a, a patrol boat replacement subcommittee, we did get a survey done on the Harbor Master boat in the fall, and the survey suggested we might get another year out of it, but not a lot more. And the, the extent of the repairs is suggesting when you talk about five to $15,000 to repair the current Harbor Patrol boat, for, uh, for a longer life service, that might that money might be better spent on the uh, on a new boat on a replacement. So we have a we'll have a proposal for that coming later on in the uh, 2010 season. One other item that uh, that uh, is going to keep us busy in the spring is we've got a couple of Army Corps permits that uh, that I'll be preparing. I think Don has turned one in for the extension to the pier that'll support the fire the uh, the fire boat that's going out there. Uh, we're waiting word on approval for that one. Uh, but I'd like to get uh, another modification on the float structure out there that'll support the crane that, uh, that, I, you know, that Don may have on, that Don Levesque may have on his agenda and uh, discussion tonight. Because we've, we've had the engineering survey done for the pier, and we, uh, we're, we're, we're taking a lottery to see when we expect that crane will be installed. And we'll, uh, we'll pass around a square with, uh, if everybody would like to participate. It's been a source of much speculation, uh, not, a, not a little anxiety, uh, but I believe we're getting close and we're looking forward to this. I want to make sure that we have some floats that are out front that are ready for, uh, for the boats that would pull up and access the crane so that they could get up on the, on the pier as well. Uh, another permit that I'll be submitting and trying to get approval through the commission and uh, an exclusion from the Army, uh, from the uh, Environmental Police is that the uh, there, there's an opportunity, I believe, to swim safely at the pier if we provide uh, a boxed-off area for, for the kids. And it's, it's never been a place to swim at high tide, but, but it, I mean, I'm sorry, it's never been a place to swim at low tide, but I'm optimistic that, uh, that we could get approval this year or next to have some swimming at the pier. Um, I did a survey. Uh, um, a couple of times in the river with the environmental, uh, with the marine fisheries people, when they were taking water quality samples, and he sent me the uh, the data from the Blackwater River, and I I, I forgot it tonight. I left a, a bit of a rush. I'll leave that in your mailbox in the next day. From 2007, he had done five different samples, and the bacteria counts for the most part were less than 50 uh, fecal coliform uniform units per 100 milliliters of water, and I don't know what the threshold is for, uh, for open digging, but for the three samples that he did at the sites in 2009, the count was over 50. He didn't identify what the number was, it just said greater than 50. Only once in the four previous, in the 12 previous samples covering 2007 and 2008, did the count go over 50. I spent some time with the DPW getting some of the list of the people that they are billing for sewerage down there, and when I, when I went down to the uh, treatment plant, their estimate is that we may be 70 to 80 percent hooked up to sewerage on North End Boulevard. Um, so there's a little bit of research and effort to identify the sources 
of the bacteria where the leach fields may actually be adjacent to the marsh or, uh, or there may be leaks. Uh, that, that's, a, I think, a fairly detailed study, but I think we would take it uh, based on our jurisdiction for the, uh, for the uh, harbor management plan as one of the harbor commission and harbor master duties in the, uh, uh, until the shellfish department gets funded again. So at this point, we don't, we don't have approval to, uh, to dig recreational clams in the Blackwater River. Uh, we have no customers to dig on the, uh, on the Merrimack River right now because of the fees. So uh, I'll, I'll talk with Ed and we'll, we'll come back again with a proposal for you to consider about how to proceed on that matter. I have one other uh, permit to a file with the Army Corps, and that is an adjustment for some of the mooring fields up on the uh, adjacent to Carr Island. We have two marinas up there, Yankee Landing and uh, Miramar, adjacent to one another, and they only have about uh, 60 to 70 percent penetration on one of the marinas, and we're, we're going to claim some of that area back for the town of Salisbury, so we'll be able to access that with uh, some of our waitlist boaters, or if, uh, if they want to fill that with some of their customers, they can, but they'd have to fill their remaining area first. That'll be on a first come, first serve basis. So that's the, uh, that's the forecast we have for this year. Any questions? Any questions, gentlemen? Well, when you say 60 to 70 percent penetration, you mean of the moorings that they have? Right. Okay. Right. Yankee, for example, is, uh, is permitted uh, with the town and the, uh, the Army Corps to have 24 moorings. They've never had more than 18, sometimes they're 14, sometimes 16. And uh, I tried to restrict them last year, and uh, they promised to, to fill up all 24. And they came in with 17 once more, so I think we've, we've given them enough chances. I've had several meetings going back two or three years now with the Army Corps and the adjacent, so we'll be uh, corresponding with them. So that, that could help relieve some of the waiting list. Right. How are people right. going to get up there, though? I believe that wait list is probably going to drop by 15 or 20 just this year in our area, just above Cove Marina. Yeah, we don't have much more room uh, off the pier, but we do have some room above Cove Marina. And it, it would be, it would be, uh, <clears throat> it'd be a big step if we could get some support to get the uh, the uh, small boat facility moving again. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure where the, where the block is on that. Uh, I've, also, I've also been meeting with the Open Space Committee. And one of the targets we have for the Open Space Committee is uh, find, you know, and, and it's been our target as a commission and, and a harbor, depart, harbor master department for some time, and that is increased recreational act, access for boaters and for citizens in the town of Salisbury. One of the ways that we had, uh, we had uncovered would be, um, and, and a number of us believe it's worth pursuing, in discussions with the Army Corps engineers, uh, their, their long-term planners, they would need a letter from the, uh, from the Board of Selectmen endorsing the pursuit of a feasibility study to restore the canal that went from <laughs> the Hampton River to, uh, to the Merrimack River and that was an inland waterway used in colonial yes. times, uh, the restoration of that would do a lot for, uh, for the flood problems. You'd get Thank more salt you. water into the marshes. It'd leave in a of issues. It's a, it's a 10 to 15 year project for them to first study it, then put it in the queue and if, if it's feasible. So it wouldn't do anything to interfere with current plans down there. But you know, if it came about 15 years from now, then I think it would be a, it would be a big improvement for people down the beach to have access for uh, for small boats, kayaks, and yeah. uh, and uh, no motorboats, but uh, but the kayaks to get to get through the inland waterway. It'd be a safer way for people to, to go, and a lot of a lot of access for the people on North End Boulevard. So what I would do is I would uh, I'll uh, discuss that with each of you individually, and I'll be happy to to, to write a a draft letter for your consideration and, and forwarding. Excellent. Thank you, Ray. You, is there is there any other uh, you know public access point off of North End Boulevard that can get people directly to the water? Is the uh, is the fifth or sixth street public access? 
or is that private? We, we have we have a right of way for our utilities as far as our public access to right to right to go over it, to right over it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, uh, I recall that question uh, a session or two ago, and I confess that that's one piece of research that I didn't finish. But I will, I will determine that, and I will. Uh, I think the assessor did research that, Ray. That okay. Question. I'll discuss it with them. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you.